Okay, we'll just reset this scene. Um, we go to reset. If I want to save my changes, I'm going to click on no because I want to preserve what I just showed you guys. Do I really want to reset? Yes. So now we have a fresh max scene here. I'm going to Alt W and that expands my viewport. And right away I know what it is I want to achieve. Uh, that's very important in Studio Max uh, or any project you really uh, are going to undertake is knowing what it is you want to achieve before you even start. Um, a lot of times, or sometimes I guess that isn't true, like if you just want to mess around, uh, for example, like if I'm drawing in Photoshop, I just want to do quick sketches with no real purpose, just see what I get, kind of just, it's, it's like brainstorming on paper, or in, in that case it would be in digital, or on the tablet brainstorming, or whatever. But uh, when you have something like this, you really want to have a goal set for, what am I setting up this particle system for, you know, uh, things like that. So, okay, with that, we will get started. Um, right away, I'll hit six on my keyboard. That brings up my P flow. It's empty, as you can see. Also, uh, if you see this right here, that's a preset flow. You can just drag that in. And I have these, uh, these already set as uh, particle flows I've saved in the past. I'll, I'll show you more about that later. I just want to bring that up right now. Okay, so I'm going to drag on empty flow, uh, birth, and I'm going to connect the two. Now, right away, I know that this might take a lot of particles, so I'm going to click on my PF source 0, 1, and I want to raise my particle count to uh, the limit it goes. I just usually go to the end and hit a bunch of zeros behind it. What is that, 50 million? I, I don't know. 5 million? So I set it like that, and I want to make sure that my uh, quantity multiplier in the um, in the viewport is at 100%, so we get a, a fair assessment of how many particles will be in the scene. And that's all set up for that. Um, I'll go down to my birth, and like I said, we'll do a splatter hit, which means that we're going to set the birth to start at 0 and end at uh, we can do zero or one. Let's do one here, just for the, this uh, tutorial. <coughs> I like to shrink this down because uh, if you don't have the use of your right screen or another screen, just in general, might be a left. Um, the P flow uh, UI can take up a lot of screen space that you really, you really like to have. So, okay, so now we just have uh, this in here. This is not doing anything because we haven't told it to do anything. So let's tell it to do something. That's the best thing about Max is you get to give it orders and it has to listen. Um, though sometimes it listens too well when you've said to do something stupid and you've added too many particles and next to you crashed, you haven't saved in, you know, five hours. Your boss is going to give you lashes at work. It turns into a whole ugly thing. You don't need it. So the first thing we'll do is I'm going to hit W on my keyboard, which brings up my move tool. My move, whatever that is, not tool, option maybe. And I'll be working with shortcuts through the whole thing, so just uh, listen to my words. You know, I'll usually call them out. If I don't, you know, um, I'm sure you guys will yell at me in the comment section of my YouTube page. So, as always, W represents move. Um, e equals rotate, and R is scale. Q is actually to just make sure things are selected. Now, if you want to hit Q more than once, it'll change. See, right now I have a, a box marquee to grab whatever it is I want or a selection. If I hit Q, and that's represented up here, if I hit Q, that scrolls through the different selection types. All right, so I'm just going to scroll through to the box again. Now we're back in business. Okay, so I want to do position icon. I want to drag that right into uh, my event 01, which we will call, we will rename everything and we will do things properly this time. We will call it uh, uh, particle spawn. Or we'll call it, no, we'll call it uh, IT 
or INTL droplet. Initial droplet. Okay, so particle, blah, blah, blah. The position icon volume. We want to, uh, and we want to just, uh, volume is fine. Volume or surface in this case. Let's set it to pivot because that's where we want it to come from. I always right away hit um, new on my seed. That just uh, gives a little bit of variation. And let's, uh, I'm going to create a plane. You could either click over here on the right side. Or you can hold down Alt and hit C, which brings it up on your menu here underneath Standard Primitives. Um, when I work in Expert Mode, that's usually what I'm doing. But again, I like to try to keep my navigation simple for the people out there that might not be um, into Expert Mode or whatever. I like everyone to be able to follow what I'm doing because everyone should be able to learn. That's very important. So I'm just going to create a plane. It's just to have a plane, to be honest with you. We're going to use that to set the speed of some of these particles. Uh, and next I'm going to create a deflector. Deflector. I'm going to set that immediately to 10,000. 3, 1, 2, 3. And I want to zero this out. Okay, and now I want to add a force. The force we're going to add is gravity. Kerplow. I'm right away going to set that to um, 0.5 because we don't need them to come down real heavy. Well, okay, we'll leave it at 1 because we'll show you other ways we can get around setting the actual strength of the gravity. If we, uh, if we use gravity, in, uh, well, the purpose is because... If that gravity is to be shared in different events that's happening, you don't want to maybe influence all the events through the one gravity. So I'll show you a different way that we can um, influence uh, specific events. And we'll rename this real quick. We'll call it a uh, P splatter. <laughs> okay, so we'll add a force put that below the icon position icon um, where they go in the stack here is important and it does indeed matter so always pay attention maybe sometimes you get stuck on what you're doing or an event is not working the way you think it should and um, all you got to do is just readjust your stack there and uh, you might have it <coughs> I'm not too proud to say that happened to me uh, <laughs> that still happens to me a lot I'm basically retarded. I just happen to not work Camtasia and Studio Max. And neither one very well. Alright, so now we have force in here. We can go to add and just uh, click on that and then click on add. Or you can add by, which will bring up a list of all the things, all the forces in your scene. We only have one gravity, so we'll select that. Click off of add. And now we have that in our scene. And now we can see... The gravity is sucking the particles right out of this. 